Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Thursday the 28th of June 2018 and I'm just on my way to go and see Phantom of the Opera, the musical my friend Eddie Day did this morning. It's a matinee that we're going to go and watch. We're running very late actually, so Lord have mercy, let's just hope we make it. Guys, somehow I have no idea how. We did have to get a taxi but we have made it. Just outside the Her Majesty's Theatre here. Fun fact, I actually performed here in the theatre once back in 2010. Me too. Did you as well? Oh, and there's Edda taking a nice picture of his ticket. Thank you for dating earlier for us. What did you just drop nearly? It's Thanks. okay. Well, I'm it. Just a bit of a tip, guys. Um, you don't have to get here till 10:30. Yeah. The so I didn't get here till 10:30. Yeah, so the box opens over to 10, but I don't think people know that the Phantom does daisies, right? I didn't know until you told me. And I think they only did it for Thursday matinees, is it? Yeah. Anyway, I'll try to show you very quickly the theatre. These are the posters. I've not seen Phantom since the anniversary show that I went to with Rebecca a few years ago. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's one of my favourite shows. Love it. I don't. I've not seen this cast at all, obviously. So, do you have Eddie? I love that bit so much. Which bit? Which one's the, your favourite? This one? Why so silent? Oh, is this your, uh, that is a good one. Um, but Masquerade, I Masquerade is my absolute favourite. Masquerade! Paper chase! <laughs> paper chase? <laughs> Why is it there? It's definitely not paper chase. Why is it? I don't know. We are just walking to our <laughs> seats. Oh no. Whoops. Thank you. Sorry about that. I mean, I doubt people would, I don't think people are going to come to DC, so we can probably potentially later move. Um, how do you feel? Um, it's, it's all right, this is the view. I do have a pillar there. Yeah. Bit annoying. Um, but it's okay. How much were these? £25. I think they're all right. And I mean, you don't, you, did you ask if they were all on this row or is it just kind of whatever they've got available? Whatever. Kind of. Anyway, the show is about to start, so I'll speak to you in the interval. It's not the interval. <laughs> Edda is really annoying. Hello. Um, are you enjoying it, Eddie? I am. I was telling Eddie, it's probably one of my favourite theatre experiences ever because of the fact that you saw where we were sitting and we didn't have anyone next to me and you were just by the wall. Then yeah, you? and then no one in front of us, no one behind us, so Sam can... <laughs> <laughs> Every now and again, I just put my hands up, arms up in the air. It's like, like she's what about the... to die. <laughs> You jumped the second time. Yeah. And he's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, I'm just doing it because I can, because no one's behind us. It's kind of so tense part of the show, and then she just went... <laughs> <laughs> With both arms. <laughs> See, it's great that there's no one behind us. We just feel like we can be relaxed, no one in front of us. So it's great. And if you just, I can let you see everything. It's, it's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. It's all right. And I really like the cast. Anyway, we're going to go and check out some stuff. You're going to get some water. I'm going to go and have a look at the passport and all that stuff. Are you excited about life? Yeah. Mickey, are you excited? Yeah, 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 yeah boy. Great. On our way out, we've just encountered a little display area with some of the merch that you can get, some uh, mugs, the program, the brochure, the 20th anniversary, which I was at two years ago, it was the last time I saw well Phantom. Done. 2016, September, October, with Rebecca. Well done, well done, thank you. It's, I mean, I enjoy the fact that you have such a great memory. We've got a Think of Me Rose, that you can, is, that, is that literally for the rose, do you reckon? You can buy a Think of Me Rose? Probably, yeah. 20th anniversary, oh, I didn't realize they came out, it came out, what? Yeah, they're, they're oh, no, that's the 20, oh, so I went, to th I went to the 30th anniversary. You went to the 20th I went to both, I went to both. The 25th was at the Royal Albert Hall. That was ages ago, that was like 2000 and... I mean... A long time, 2011, 11. 11. 2016 I went to 30th We're anniversary. Happy Christmas, happy Christmas. Yeah, and I went to that one with my mum, so shout out to my mum, who doesn't normally like being in my, my vlog, so you've never probably seen her. This theatre, guys, is beautiful. I love the Her Majesty's Theatre. It's just such a, such a classic theatre. It's because Phantom's been here for such a long time, I just feel like it just reminds me of Phantom. I'm just coming down, just come down right now to show you some of the other merch that's available, we've got a London Phantom of the Opera t-shirt for £18, a Phantom of the Opera tote bag, shout out to my friend Rakaya, she enjoys a good tote bag, some masks that you can buy, some magnets, might might have to buy one of those at some point. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Just, oh, Andrew, there was obviously autobiography that came out earlier this year, shout out to Sean, he enjoys it. But yeah, it's enjoyable, the weather's it's so, so nice to see a matinee every now and again. This, um, I think it might still be the advert with uh, Gina Beck. I might be wrong, let me have a look. Well, it might, they might have done a new one, who knows? Oh, it is a new one, I think. Lord, they finally changed it. Anyway, this is the cast board. Ben Lewis is Phantom. Kelly Matheson is Christine Dyer. Jeremy Taylor is Raoul. And that's the rest of the cast. And that's the ensemble. Whee! 
Yeah, so regarding that advert that they show on the television at the Her Majesty's Theatre of Phantom of the Opera, for a long time it used to be the one with um, Ramin Karimlu and Gina Beck, because they used to be in the show. Ramin used to play the Phantom, obviously, and Gina Beck used to be Christine. Uh, fact of the day, Gina Beck is my very first Christine. She's one of the reasons I became, well, not, not the only reason, obviously, because Phantom is amazing as a musical, but she's one of the main reasons I adored the show the first time I saw her, because I thought she was fantastic as Christine. I still think it's the best role she's ever played. Um, I saw her in the show about three times, I want to say. And yeah, even when she left in like 2011 or 2010, she left, she left in 2010, yeah. Uh, she did come back in 2011 a couple of times to cover because they were lacking Christine's. But even like for, for about four or five years after she left, they still used the advert with Gina Beck here in the theatre. But that, they have definitely changed, it's not her. I think it's the cast that we, we're seeing, I think it's our Christine today actually. Which is nice, because I mean as much as I love Gina Beck and she will always be my favourite Christine, it's just nice to see the current Christine when you come to theatre, like see her face up there. <laughs> Up, in, up above the cast board rather than Gina Beck's and Ramin Karimlu's. I'm going back up now to meet Eddie, he's just gone to the bar to get himself some water, but look at just these amazing massive paintings on the way up to the dress. Are you, is that you? Are you alright? Yeah. I thought you were, I didn't realise it was you at first. Such good timing, I was just about to say, I'm about to meet you. There, like, look at that, like, whoa. I know, I was at that Isn't that insane? Your little head just looks so tiny compared to that massive... You can't even see how big it is, guys. Should we go back up because we want to go to the balcony? Yeah, let's go. Yeah? It's very quiet down there. Hardly anyone is there, guys. Everyone's enjoying the balcony. Chat with the fact that they, we also now have a little terrace at the Royal, Al Al Royal Albert Hall? Royal Opera House, where I work. Um, which is lovely. Oh my god, look. You can see it better from here. It's just amazing, it just goes so well with the theming of just... I don't know, for some reason I just think it's well, really well suited to Phantom of the Opera being in this theatre. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, you get a nice little view of Theatre Royal Haymarket. I've never been there, you know. Have you never been? It's the theatre, it's one of the theatres I've been in the least amount of times. But I think the first time I went there I saw Sweet Charity. Have you ever seen it? No, I can't. <laughs> the time I saw Sweet Charity was when I went to Frankfurt to see Caroline Deverell in it. In Frankfurt. Good musical. Not one of my favourites though. Same as Tom? Hey, big spender! Do you know it? How did you know that? Um, it's called, yeah, what's the musical called again? Sweet Charity, yeah. Um, nice flowers here as well. It's a lovely day and it's just nice to be able to come out for a bit. I enjoy the flowers and plants and the fact that you're very safe because you can't, you know, you can't jump and kill yourself if you want to. Is that something you want to do? No. Good, well done. Hello. I want to vlog with the Eddie camera. Eddie is not vlogging today so he really wanted to just call the camera for just a bit. Get it on we the are enjoying this terrace, aren't we? It's yeah, nice. it's really, really cute. And I mean, like, I'd love for these to oh, leave yeah, me alone. There's a lot of pillars in this theatre, right? Even downstairs, we were talking, me and Eddie. Even the stores, I once sat here in the stores and there was a massive pillar in front of me and it was, I mean, I made my dad sit there and I had the best view. That's really mean. It's not really, though. I sat down, down there for the, the address for us a lot of time. Yeah. When you were, yeah. Like, yeah. But, 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 but apart from that, it's a lovely theatre. It's very beautiful. Um, the seats aren't awful, like... I'm okay with the seats. We're 25, I mean, yeah. Yeah. How much do you think they would be? Like, Probably, yeah, something around that. Hopefully, I don't want it to be 60. I don't think it works. Hello! I wonder if you legit knew them! Eddie, I'm enjoying the fact that Eddie's just like, it's basically like me and just books them. I'm enjoying the way of the camera. They're so alike compared to yours. So li case. alike. It's so alike. I'm enjoying what I'm enjoying the most at the moment is the angle, because you've got a long arm. And I'm it's like a... Me, so it just works. Perfectly. Selfie stick. I wish it could be myself. I could, I could, I could just hire you and you walk I mean, back. for money, I, I will like, do it. Everyone just wants money from me. Rakaya told me Obviously. she wants. She, she do my. She should do my thumbnails yeah, for me. No. If I'm, I don't want to give. I just want someone to do my thumbnails for free. I hate doing thumbnails, guys. Anyway, guys, we are now back in our seats. Well, I'm back in my seat. Eddie's just in the toilet right now. We'll be back in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you the view one more time so you see that it's not. You don't actually miss anything. At first, I thought maybe the pillar might be like obstructing, but it's not. Like if I just lean a little bit to the left, obviously Eddie's view is pretty pretty decent, like he doesn't have the pillar uh, blocking anything. But for me as well, even though I'm like I've got a bit of a pillar situation, it's fine, I can still see everything. And I just enjoy the fact, like I said earlier, I mean I just said earlier, the fact that there's no one behind us. And we've got this little back thing as well, so I can sometimes rest my head and be like, oh I'm just enjoying the music. And uh, just it's just nice as well to know that no one's like behind you, so you can just exercise your arms. Um, so it's good, and there's no one at the moment anyway. In the first act, there was no one in front of us. So, uh, hi, Ed. Uh, you're right. I'm standing here now. You're now standing behind me, so now I can't do this anymore. This. Freeze a glass to freedom. Oh, don't, I'm gonna cry. No, 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 no. Anyway, oh, we now have a few people. I think, were they here? Were these people? Huh? Were they, were these people? Yeah. Oh, okay. But the seats next to me are empty, so it's all good. Anyway, the show is gonna start, so I guess I'll speak to you after the second half.
Beautiful. Oh, love. It's a famous hub, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's changed out something. I like this one too. Honestly, this is one of my favourite uh, musical theatre scores of all time. It's in my top five, probably even my number one or two, I'd say. This, Avenue Q's, and potentially Wicked's are my three favourites. I'm going to do a whole video about this, actually, top ten. But yeah, love it, beautiful. I enjoy the fact that there's people waiting for the orchestra to finish their situation. Oh. Lord. It's beautiful, I can't. This, this music is so powerful. Well done. We obviously, as you can tell, Eddie's somewhere here still leaving the theatre. As you can see, we are now outside the theatre. It is very sunny still. The time is like maybe like 10 past 5. Eddie's up to work now. Are you excited about that? We had a little talk. It was so comfortable in the theatre that we enjoyed it. Yeah, I was so, so, so relaxed. It was honestly great. At one point, I looked at him and he had his eyes first, and then I also had my eyes first. We weren't sleeping, we were just enjoying the music yeah. because it was so comfortable. Anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the show when I get home in the cast, but it's goodbye to Eddie for now. And I'll see you when I get home. Okay, it is now some hours later, it's actually about half past eight in the evening and I feel like I should probably end the vlog. Sorry about the noise outside, my windows are open because it's quite warm in London at the moment. Thursday night in London for you. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, I don't really have much to say because obviously Phantom's a show that I've seen many times before. It's been on for like a long time. It's not a new show or anything. I feel like everyone really knows what the story's about and everything. Um, I hadn't been to see Phantom at the Her Majesty's Theatre since uh, 2016 when I went with my friend Rebecca to celebrate the 30th anniversary of it. They did a great like special performance of it. I vlogged that day as well, so I'm sure there's a vlog of it somewhere on my channel to go back to like 2016 kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I hadn't seen it in a couple of years, so it's really nice to go back. It's one of my favourite shows of all time. I just love the music i understand that yes like the sets are a bit dated and direction is a bit dated as well um but i love the music so much that i really don't care like i really just don't care that's why earlier i said like i didn't even mind the fact that at times i just purposely close my eyes and just listen to music because i just love it I, I, I just think it's amazing angelo Weber is fantastic uh, and this is one of his best scores in fact i think it's his best score of all time in my opinion anyway um I'm just looking at my phone because I, I didn't get a program, but I've got the cast board cast list here. So I just want to talk about some of the cast members, I guess. Um, the Phantom was played by Ben Lewis, um, and he was great. Stand of the Phantom, good voice, really enjoyed him. It was good. Um, I really enjoyed the Christine Daae, who was played by um, Kelly... Mad Mathison, Madison. I'm really sorry if I'm completely like mispronouncing her surname. Um, I don't know how you say it really. Mathison. I don't know. Basically, Kelly M M Mathison, and she was honestly. All I want to say is that she was fantastic. She's probably my second favorite Christine of all time. As I mentioned earlier in the vlog, uh, Gina Beck. I think would probably always be my favorite Christine. She was my first Christine, and I saw her the first three times I saw the show, and I just really enjoyed her. And she was kind of the first person to introduce the world of Christine to me, obviously on stage anyway. And I've seen I've seen quite a lot of Christines to be honest, like including Sierra Bogues. Um, I'm again probably saying her surname wrong. Sorry. Um, and then I think the last time I saw it was Celinde for the 30th anniversary. And you know all the Christine. I've seen have been good but I think there was something that I really enjoyed about Gina Beck's uh, characterization of Christine and it's the fact that she was very she was a very young Christine and she her voice sounded young and she just had this kind of innocence about her and I know that most Christines you know do have that as well but for me she, she just had something special uh, that you just kind of maybe something childish about her that I really appreciated and I haven't seen since Gina's portrayal of Christine and I saw it today with Kelly's performance I just really thought she was fantastic and she was exactly how I want Christine to be portrayed loved her voice she had a very sweet voice again sorry about that side um I think it was probably the most similar voice I've heard to Gina Beck's and I'm sorry that I keep comparing everyone to Gina Beck obviously like I said she was my favorite Christine so obviously I'm I'm, I'm gonna compare anyone I see to her because I want you know, because she's my favourite, so obviously, if I'm saying someone's like her, it means that I really enjoy that person as well. Anyway, I just really enjoyed her, I thought she was great, so I'd really actually like to go and see Kelly again at some point. Beautiful voice, um, she acted it very well as well, and this is one of my favourite things, um, about her and one of the main reasons why I've not been the biggest fan of the previous Christines that I've seen since Gina Beck. Like I'm very specific about my Christines and I like it to be acted a certain way and I feel like Kelly did it exactly how I wanted to be acted so well done to her. Um, then obviously we have Raoul uh, who was played by Jeremy Taylor. I've seen Jeremy Taylor in Wicked quite a few times before. He was playing Fierro a few years ago and I think one of the main reasons actually Eddie wanted to go was because um, I believe Jeremy Taylor is Eddie's favourite Fierro of all time and it was just nice to see him in something different because I think I've only ever seen the guy in uh, in Wicked 
Uh, funny story actually, Jeremy Taylor <laughs> came to the Opera House, Royal Opera House where I work the other day and I, I was like, it took me just a couple of seconds to recognise him and I was like, oh my god, that's Jeremy Taylor, obviously I didn't say anything to him. Um, he just walked past me or say, say, asked me a question, I can't remember what it was, I think he just came through my door, I'm an usher at the Royal Opera House if you didn't know. Uh, and I was like, oh, that's, that's Jeremy Taylor, the guy who's to see as Fiero. But no, he was fantastic as Raoul, really enjoyed him, he's got a beautiful voice and he acted it very well as well. Again, Raoul is a very difficult character to play, um, I've, I've always been more of a Phantom fan in, in terms of like, everyone's like, other team Phantom or team Rao. I've always preferred the Phantom. Um, I just feel a lot more sorry for Phantom than I feel for Rao. But some people are more of a Rao fan and I've always been more of a Phantom person. But I feel like Ra um, Jeremy Taylor played a Rao in a way that actually made me feel quite sorry for him as well. And I enjoyed his performance and I really appreciated like his love for Christine. So well done. Um, and then we've got uh, Carlotta was played by Lara Martins. She was alright. I'm not going to say she was, she's my favourite Carlotta because I've seen some fantastic Carlottas before, including the fantastic Rebecca Locke. I believe Rebecca Locke was actually my very first Carlotta because she was in the cast when Gina Beck was in it. And she, I don't think she's beatable really. She was hilarious. Um, this this uh, actress, Lara Martins, had a great voice, but I don't think she was funny enough. Um, and, you know, I know that she's Carlotta's not necessarily meant to be completely uh, comedy. But she kind of is meant to, to be honest, if you think about it. She's a comic character, really, and obviously there's a choice with the actors who play her as to how they want to go about portraying the character, the role. But I feel like it works better if you're a bit more funny and out there with it. And I feel like the way Lara portrayed Carlotta today, maybe it was just today, I don't know, just wasn't that funny, in my opinion. So I, I, I feel like she could have done more. But, you know, like I said, great voice, and that, but that's about it. That's where it ends for me. I didn't find her that funny. Um, then we've got Monsieur... Uh, Fermin and Andre, both of them are really good. Oh my god, I've just realised, Lord. Okay, I'm gonna probably mispronounce his name completely, but I, I did, I did think he looked familiar. So Monsieur um, Fermin was played by, oh, is it Sion or Sean? S I O N Lloyd. Uh, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name, but basically I used to see him many times in Avenue Q. He used to play the role of Brian. Uh, when Avenue Q was in the West End, he was in the closing cast of Avenue Q. Um, and I don't think I've ever seen him in anything else apart from Avenue Q. And he was in Avenue Q like years ago, back in 2009, 2010. And now he's in Phantom, and he was great. And so was uh, Andre, played by Mark Oxtoby. Uh, Madame Giri was played by Jacinta Mul Mulcahy. I'm so sorry, I'm mispronouncing everything. And then Meg was uh, Lily Howes. Um, and yeah, that's basically it, the whole ensemble. I mean, it's a great cast, obviously I can't go through everyone's names because it's going to take a long time and I feel like I'm rambling, but um, yeah, it's a great cast, I enjoyed the cast today, it was great, and it's a great show, and I enjoyed it anyway, I mean, I'm a fan of Phantom, but I understand why some people might not like it, um, because like I said, it, it can look a bit dated and you kind of watch it and sometimes not much happens because the whole direction and the sets were done such a long time ago, like years ago. Um, so sometimes you kind of look, watch the, watch the stage and you're like, oh, not much is happening and it's just singing. But that's fine, like, because like I said, for me, the music is so beautiful that I don't care. But a lot of people just don't enjoy it and I, I get that. But I love it. I think it's one of the best shows still in town. And it's a great cast and I'm happy I went to see it. And thank you to Eddie again for day seating. And that's all I'm going to say. Leave comments down below and let me know if you've seen Phantom before, if it's one of your favourite shows. For me, I actually I'd much prefer Phantom to Les Mis. A lot of people are like, oh my god, Les Mis is the best, like, classical or classic musical of all time or kind of thing. I'm, I've always been more of a Phantom fan. Les Mis is just like not one of my favourites personally, but Phantom has my heart. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!